Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and I had a couple of requests to show off the uh, homemade AR-180 um, that I've got going on. This is one I've been working on for a, a long time. Uh, parts for these things take uh, a lot of work to scrounge up, and um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's rough. This all started when I was able to scrounge up um, some of the rec receiver uh, blank sheet metal stampings from the factory um, apparently when they went when they closed up so I've, I've got the uh, I've, I've got this together so far um, and it looks pretty good pretty proud of this actually but yeah I still haven't uh, Finished doing the the artwork for it for the uh, for the Magwell, but um, everything else is pretty close. Uh, although I still I still need to parkerize the uh, selector lever. But yeah. Um, anyway, got the uh, the lower pretty much there. Um, still laser engraving to do with with I want I decided I wanted to do a Ajax arms. Um, knock off of the Armalite uh, logo. Um, as you can see on the old uppers, they had sort of a crosshairs. Um, yeah, this is not a uh, a receiver. Just FYI, this was the upper receiver, which wasn't the regulated component. So even though this has the uh, AR uh, markings, I think I'm actually going to get rid of those since um, these aren't manufacturer information and it can be refinished and done um, I'll probably do the upper uh, ref like populate everything on and then do all the laser engraving together so that the logos match uh, and they're, they're scaled properly that's one of the things I kind of wish I'd done on uh, you know like the, the semi safe markings but you know you live you learn um yeah i've got the barrel still needs to be timed the um uh, trunnion needs to be welded into the uh the upper and then it needs to be drilled for the op rod and i believe it also has to have holes for the um the guide spring rods these are really cool um if you've never played with an ar uh, 180 this is actually an AR-18 bolt because um, it's got the trip, but um, it's not an issue if you don't have the uh, fire control components or the uh, the difference between the AR-18 and the AR-180 is actually a little protrusion that sticks out of the upper, um, which actually gets you into a weird situation where you'll notice on the parts kits for these things, the um, the upper on the machine guns is the machine gun, and the lower on the rifles is the firearm. So um, most of the parts kits that you'll find will have, um, you know, a, a torch cut lower and a torch cut upper. Um, it's kind of an interesting. It just it's just hard to find parts for these, particularly um, you know raw sheet metal stamp because that was a that was a a crazy find. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come across one of those again. So yeah, set a set of those. But uh, I think I've got all the little parts except for I think one pin and a pistol grip. And I've got a line potentially on a pistol grip. Um, the thing that prompted this video was this duckbill brake that I'm probably going to use on that uh, Diesel Punk AR when I do that. Um, this I don't plan on doing a lot of customization beyond, you know, the artwork on the lower, um, and that's just, you know, my own vanity, I guess. Um, combined a little bit with um, I mean this is going to be one of the guns of the Punisher Armory 
uh, items, he had one. Um, so when I eventually get it all together, it'll it'll be in the uh, in that series of videos too. Um, this is sort of a back burner item. I've when I find and and finally track down that pistol grip and buy it and make it mine. Then comes the, the upper assembly, which is going to be fairly involved. Um, I still have to fabricate a mag lock for California compliance on the lower. And then it's just um, a lot of little assembly stuff. There are a stupid number of little springs and, you know, pins and things in this gun. Um, that said, the design is really pretty awesome. And um, I'm a big fan. We've got a couple of different styles of charging handle, um, extra gas blocks. Sorry about that. It uh, looks like I ran out of memory. Had to go back and delete some stuff that I'd already uploaded. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, it's going to be a bit of a project. So this might not be one you see a lot of updates on. Um, and it looks like I definitely need to go through this parts bot, parts bin and pick out some things that are clearly not <laughs> AR, AR-180 parts. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a Colt, that's a AR-15 bolt, not a, uh, not an AR-180. But, um... It's cool. It's going to be a fun one. I'm really proud of how this came out. Um, I kind of wish I'd stuck with the project a little bit more and not, you know, hit this uh, plateau and then, uh, you know, moved on to other stuff. Sort of once once that's there, then the rest of it's easy. But um, yeah, pretty awesome. Alright, have a good one.